Chan Corlett, the <coughs> Taoiseach's response to the call for a public inquiry, and I heard the Minister for Finance this morning uh, making the same point, is to attack the idea of a tribunal. Nobody is proposing the establishment of a tribunal. What the Labour Party has proposed is that there should be a parliamentary inquiry similar to the dirt type inquiry that we had uh, before. So the government should stop knocking uh, something that hasn't been proposed in the first place. There are two issues here, Tisha. First of all, whether the inquiry is going to be public or private. Fianna Fáil wants a private inquiry. The rest of us want a public inquiry. The decision on that will be made tonight when you vote on the Labour Party motion and every member of the House, including the Green Party ministers and TDs who claim they want a public inquiry, will have the opportunity of voting for a private or a public inquiry at half past eight tonight. What I want to concentrate on now, Taoiseach, however, <coughs> is what the content of your proposed inquiry is going to be about. Now, yesterday, the Minister for Finance said that uh, that inquiry uh, would not be permitted to examine decisions taken by the government since the crisis erupted, such as the nationalisation of Anglo-Irish Bank or the decision to introduce the Bank Guarantee Scheme. And I heard him on radio this morning making uh, the similar, uh, a similar suggestion. Now suppose we had that approach, suppose the British government took that approach to the inquiry that they now have on the Iraq war, we see it on television, they would have an inquiry which would be questioning whether or not Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction, what the United Nations discussed and decided. But the only thing they wouldn't be able to inquire into is the government's decision to go to war, which of course would have the convenient consequence that Mr. Blair wouldn't have to appear as a witness as he is on Friday, or Mr. Hoon wouldn't have to appear as a witness. What the government is doing here is it is setting up an inquiry into everything about banking, including the international context, except the government's own decisions, such as the critical decision to introduce the guarantee, the guarantee scheme, which is what has locked the Irish taxpayer into paying for the banking uh, crisis. And there were several issues, Taoiseach, involved in, in, in September of 2008, and particularly on the 29th of September 2008, which required to be investigated into, and which require answers. Who did the government meet on that date? Why was a decision taken to give a guarantee to Anglo-Irish Bank? I mean, you know, we can understand the systemic importance of the two big banks and they have branches in every town in Ireland, but why did the government decide to give a guarantee to what was a piggy bank for rogue developers in many cases? as we now know and as we've, as we've seen before, and within four months uh, it had to be nationalised and huge sums of the taxpayers' hard-earned money have to be put in uh, to, keep it, to keep it afloat. These are decisions that require to be investigated into and that require answers. Why did the government decide, for example, to include dated subordinated debt, which is something that I asked at the time and for which I didn't get uh, an answer uh, in, the, uh, in the guarantee scheme? Who did the government meet? Uh, on the day that uh, they decided to bring in the, uh, the guarantee scheme. Was there a bill prepared, as we have heard, uh, on that occasion to nationalise Anglo-Irish Bank at that stage, prior to the introduction uh, of the guarantee, and why wasn't that proceeded with? The government, what the government is proposing, will exclude any investigation of these, of these issues. So, Tishik, I want to ask you, will you agree, at a minimum, to include the decisions that were made by government in September of 2008 and the reasons for them and what led up to them and the discussions uh, that you had in the uh, investigation of any kind that is going to take place into the banking system. Final supplementary, Deputy Gilmore, please. Okay. Deputy Gilmore, please. Okay, so the Taoiseach says that the European Commission wanted to save Anglo-Irish Bank. Well then, well then, okay. Let's, let's hear from the officers in the, in the European Commission who had that opinion and let's hear from them directly uh, in an inquiry as to, as to whether or not Anglo should have been, uh, Anglo should have been saved at that, at that stage. You see, you see uh, Cancorla, 11,000 million, 11, million euro of the taxpayers' money has gone into these banks uh, to date. Within four months of the government introducing 
a guarantee of Anglo-Irish Bank, it had to be nationalised. Yes. And they're, apparently they're still looking for... The cost of this is just enormous. Now, what the government are proposing, leave aside the issue of whether this is going to be held in public or private. As I said, that's, that's a matter we'll decide by vote tonight. And everybody can make their own mind on it and answer for their vote uh, to, the, to their electorate uh, afterwards. Uh, but the content of this inquiry, the critical thing here is that what the government is in excluding, even from the private inquiry that they are now conce conceding, is the critical decision. Critical decision, particularly in respect of Anglo-Irish Bank. Here was a delinquent bank. Here was the rotten apple at the heart of the banking system that uh, lent out money recklessly. We've seen some of it. We saw the recent uh, primetime uh, uh, program in, in relation to, to, to what was happening in, uh, in some of the, uh, some of the inst institutions. Um, and the government, on the 29th of September 2008, the government took a decision that it was going to give a state guarantee to that institution, the same as it was giving to Bank of Ireland and Allied Irish Bank, on the grounds that it was of systemic importance. Now, that is the big question, and that is the big conundrum, and that is a big question that will require answers for. There have never been answers provided for it here, and that's what, that is one of the issues that I want to see examined and investigated by whatever type of inquiry is established. And that has been excluded yes. from what the government is, is proposing. And I believe, and I say this to you, Tisha, I believe that you are excluding it for political purposes. Because what you're establishing now is not an inquiry into what went wrong in the banking system so that we can learn from it. You are establishing something to cover the tracks of bad decisions that were made by you and your government for whatever reason. And that is not acceptable, and I don't believe it would be acceptable to the public.